What is up everyone? Welcome back for more Exos Heroes content. In today's video, we're going to discuss FC Lepin's gameplay and guide. So his strengths and weaknesses, his, her character design, her skills and animation, uh, her playability in the PvP and PvE, her Garden Stone recommendations, and her synergy with other heroes. But before that, if you want to see more Exos Heroes content, please be sure to hit the subscribe button on the right side of your screen. As we take a look at her stats, she, for her strength, she has above average dodge and average HP. Her weaknesses are low attack speed, low block, low attack, and low defense. So, Lepin is a bit squishy if we don't really uh, build her that much. She is prone to faster units that attack um, during the first turns or the first rounds. So let's go to her skills and animation. So let's see her basic attack. It's um, pretty much similar to her regular form. So for her S1, so again for this one, um, the difference for the skill one versus her regular form is that of the skill effects for S2. For S2, it's, it, it's a bit similar to her uh, regular form. Let's talk about more her S1. So her for S1, this has changed a bit because she can reset a turn of a random ally. This is actually crucial in putting out um, skills of your other allies and you of course improve uh, attack speed of your allies because you're give the, giving them a new turn. So this is a good improvement versus her regular form. Um, but her S2, there is not a bit uh, of a change she revives and she cleanses as well for her debuffs and damage over time effects from all allies so again one to take note as well is her passive her passive also has harbinger of awakening which gives her immunity and gives her additional attack speed so uh, it gives her additional attack, attack speed and immunity when she has 30% or less HP. So this improves her survivability as a reviver and as a healer. So Lepen heals from Greenland. So her and also her element is Frost, and her position is she's a support, and her attack type is magical. So overall. She is a good support for your for your unit. As far as playability, FC Lepen is very playable in PvP tag. So she excels very much in my secondary team together with um, I think FC Degas, if I can recall. She is usually paired to squishy units and but are fast, like Deva or perhaps a Rudley or perhaps a Baraka or a Rachel because number one that team should be able to uh, get off multiple attacks and fast um, it doesn't matter if your 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 attack heroes die she can bring them back to life so for PvP she she is played in a lot of content so she's playable in your chapters particularly in chapter 11 she can also be used in your team for battle if it's uh, normally the same as your PvP team. She is very good in Eupir's Labyrinth in some of the stages. And also, what I found recently, she is good in Holy Dragon Grounds for her revive and her turn reset. So for her recommended Guardian Stones, first and foremost, I would like to re recommend Dodge Effect for her to increase her dodge and to increase her survivability so as equipment set effects so it, it gives her dodge but for our awaken set effect it gives her HP and increases her dodge rate 
Also, I would like to recommend fire as well so that it would give her damage reduction for her equipped set effects. But for awakened set effects, she would be given increased HP again for increased survivability. So these are the two stats that you should prioritize when you're building her. Increase her dodge and increase her HP for more survivability. As for her synergy with other heroes, she excels well with heroes who have provoke because it takes a lot of damage off her and she is um, she is being protected to stay long in the battle. <clears throat> so you have provoke characters like Degas, you have Bloom, you have Tantalo, and there, I think the new one is Naomi. So she works well with with uh, heroes that have provoke. She works well with heroes that also increase HP to increase her survivability. She ha she is well also she works well with the heroes who are glass cannon heroes who have high attack high speed but have low hp so again um i have this team which has which features her on the front and at the back i have uh deva i have uh, rachel i have radley and the last character i have i think is baraka so that we could launch quick attacks and I could just revive her any time. I, I, I could revive anyone uh, when they die from a counter attack from the enemies. So, my thoughts on Lepin is that she is number one, a very squishy character. You have to build her well uh, to be tough enough in terms of damage reduction and in terms of her hit points. She doesn't block very well. You can also build her towards being dodgy, but she has also a low dodge. So the only, the only, the, the other good um, thing that you could supplement for her is provide her a bodyguard which provokes the enemy. And that concludes this video, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you agree with me or not. You all stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Warden.